Hey y'all, I know my thing says gymnastics, but no, I'm not in gymnastics. Skylar gave me this from his job. That's that. I wanted to tell you some TV shows to watch because also if you're depressed, you don't need to be watching poopy stuff that makes you feel worse. So, I'm going to tell you six of my favorite happy TV shows to watch. Let's begin. This show used to be my number one favorite show ever, Glee. A lot of people like to make funny jokes about Glee, but I'm telling you, Glee changed my life back when I was like 20 or 21. It changed my views and everything, and I could just go on and on and on about how much I love Glee. Every episode, well, I don't know about the end of Glee, like the last few seasons, of, of it like the last two or three seasons of it but those first seasons they were on point like every single episode had a great meaning to it and it every it was just amazing and it really made you think about other people that don't look like you or have the same stuff as you and like all this stuff and it just made me a better person and so Glee is a good show you need to watch. Another show you need to watch is The Mindy Project because it's just funny. Mindy Kaling is just funny. It makes me laugh how she just shamelessly like eats all this stuff. She makes all these cute little jokes about it too and like I just love how body positive she is. She's kind of like not at sometimes but she is for the majority of it I think that's realistic. She the way that she does on the show and I just think it's good and I think it's funny and she makes me laugh and you should watch it. So Another show you need to watch is Master of None that Aziz Ansari did or I, like I think he did it with somebody else too but I love that show. Me and Skylar went through it in like two days I swear and it just made us laugh and it had really good messages in it and of course because it's Aziz Ansari it was really funny. I love it when comedians have a message and they do something with their funniness and maybe some people just take it as funny but then other people might change because of it and change their views because of it. There's one episode on there and he's spending time with his dad that is a immigrant and it's just really cool because he's like appreciating his dad and the struggle his dad went through and all the stuff well, his dad and his mom went through when they first came over to America and just like, it's a really good show, but it's funny at the same time. And so just watch that one and watch The Mindy Project and watch Glee and also watch Parks and Rec because Parks and Rec is like the best show ever. It, everything is perfect about Parks and Rec. It's perfect because, how do I explain how? Parks and Rec is perfect. All I can say is just Parks and Rec is perfect and funny and loving and just happy and friendship and just good stuff. And you just need to watch Parks and Rec. It's girl love. It's it's people with different perspectives on life agreeing but not agreeing at the same time and working together and like making the world a better place and it's just good. Parks and Rec is the best show, probably the best show ever. I um, maybe should have saved that for last, but oh well. And then another really good one, um, once you've watched Parks and Rec and you kind of want a Parks and Rec fix, but you can't, you know nothing can live up to Parks and Rec, but you kind of want something good like that, Community. That's a really good one. It's funny. Um, me and Skylar are trying to, he, he likes to freaking save the episodes and I'm like, no, I want to watch one after another. But then I also like fall asleep in the middle of episodes so, and we have to like go back the next night and rewatch it. And But anyways, Community is really funny. It tries to show, it doesn't as artfully do it like, I don't know if that's a word, but Parks and Rec does that thing like puts different people together in an artful way <laughs> and um, a smooth way I guess I would say and community does that but they they're not so 
clever at it, I think, but it's still really funny and it makes me really happy. And also, it's called Community because it's about like these kids at a community college, and me and Skylar came from community college, and it just makes me think of that of that a little bit too because I had my little we had our little group kind of at community college, and it just it kind of gets to my heart, but it's kind of funny. Well, it's not kind of funny, it's really funny. So watch Community too. And then my last one is Broad City. Oh my gosh, y'all. This show, <laughs> it just makes me laugh so much. Like, they're so, I just, I'm about to like laugh cry right now. But just thinking about how funny this show is. But it's two girls in New York and they're really like poor, but they're just living life like early, 20, early to mid 20s like I identify with it a lot because a lot of times you're just like I don't know what the crap I'm doing right now we still got to make it fun and so it's just like two best friends and one of them goes yas queen <laughs> and it just makes me laugh every time she says that and um it's on Comedy Central but I've been watching Broad City and Community and yeah I think those two on Hulu I've been watching Master of None, Parts and Rec, and Glee on Netflix. Watch all those, laugh your butt off, because laughter is like the best medicine. So watch all those. If you can't get out of your, out of your bed, at least like just go watch that and laugh because it'll make you feel good. And thanks for watching. Bye. Treat yourself if you watch Parts and Rec.